So you're just in time for another eBay antique unboxing. And so what this is, is something that I'm going to probably use for parts. And uh, we'll, we'll see if it works as parts. Okay, so. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate doing this because I feel like I'm going to slice myself and dice myself. Like, in the 70s, there was a commercial for these knives called Ginzu Knives. And they can cut through cans and body parts. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? And I know what it is already. And, of course, it's going to probably be in the title so it's no mystery to you guys all right the paper with my address gone so no crack maniac show up at my door we don't need crack maniac showing up at my door i have enough problems in my life all right and the unveiling and the drum roll and uh oh i have a drum hold on a second you ready the drum roll i know this is really stupid And I am wacky and I am out of my mind. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, come on. Tape. We got tape now. All right, so let's see what we got. And we got a Virginia O. Robinson uh, exclusive. Well, I don't know who Virginia O. Robinson is. Do you? Maybe we can do a little Googling and find out. All right, so I got this to um, use for parts. And I think, and I'm no expert, I think that this was made sometime in the Edwardian time frame, maybe through the 20s, possibly even the early 30s. It's a sewing kit, and so I wanted to use it for parts. Oh, actually, it's really nice. It's actually really nice, and now I feel bad. Oh, no, <laughs> I might not use it for parts. Well, let's dig in here and see what the heck is in here. And it's stuck to my glove. Oh, come on. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I have an antique sewing box from circa 1810 to 1830. So it's like a Georgian type of wooden box. And inside the box would have been a sewing kit. Well, it's long gone. So what I want to do is build like um, some kind of thing in there um, to hold sewing um, necessities that would make this box like more original. And so I needed sewing... Um, you know, sew, sewing things to put in here. Oh, that might be even too big. But um, like a bunch of things. Of course, yeah, let me show you. All right, so I found the same exact box on the internet as mine, but in white. And it says that it's French Regency, 1820. Um, and here is actually what the inside would have looked like. And mine is missing the inserts on the lid and on the bottom. And it would have had like all little sewing necessities and accessories in there, like boot hooks. All sorts of things. Um, let's check this out. A scissor, you know, like a little boot hook, some needles, some embroidery stuff. And there we go. And so that's what I want to replicate. And I have some fabric and um, all sorts of things that I can try to replica uh, replicate it with. So, um, yeah, uh, basically that's what I want to do. Because the real antique versions are so damn expensive, for $4.99 I got this scissor that looks antique. Um, that's supposed to be like silver. And then for $18.99, I got this set on um, Amazon, which has like a needle case. Let's check it out. Like some kind of embroidery needle that's like, you know, fancy and looks maybe of the period. I got a scissor. There we go. That looks, well, it's supposed to look antique. I got a thimble. Let's check it, check it out. Oops. Oh, shit. Where'd the thimble go? There it went. And... Yeah, I got a little thimble with it, like a Greek, a Greek key uh, symbol going along it. I got a needle case. And now I think I got too much stuff for this box. Um, and then including this stuff, it might be overkill. I always do overkill. All right, so we got this little needle case. And then we got something called an awl, I believe. A-W-L. Never used one of these in my life. Um, again, to place inside the box. And then I got Virginia O. Robinson's sewing kit um, to add to that. Yeah, that's going to be way too much. Maybe I can use one or two of the items. But let's check it out. It's actually interesting to see what's in here. All right, so we got a thimble. We got some kind of um, tortoiseshell looking thing here. Let's uh, pull it out and see. All right, it looks like it's tortoiseshell. And look at this shit. Look at this. I'm magic. Wait, wait. <laughs> my name is Harry Houdini, and you will see magic when you watch my channel. The content is just magical. All right, I, I know, I'm an idiot. 
I'm an absolute idiot. And we have this thing. What the hell is this thing? We shall soon find out. Again, I know nothing about sewing. Looks like it's a needle case. And it's pretty cool. It's can't It can't be real tortoiseshell. There's no way on God's green earth that I could get that lucky. Because if that was true, this kit wouldn't have cost me $8.99 would have buy it now. There's no way. And hold on, we got another... Another magic trick coming up um because this keeps getting stuck on my glove okay so we got an embroidery needle and yeah that's uh interesting we have a scissor let's check out the scissor not as fancy as that one um yeah wow interesting does it say anything and it does it does say something let's check it out let me try to zoom in maybe we could date this damn thing and find out how old it really is Hold on, let's zoom. And if my hands would stop shaking, that would be a really good thing. I have bad anxiety. So my hands are always shaking. And it says, it says, uh, you you are an idiot and you will never find out what this says. No, it says, oh, something Germany. Oh, okay, interesting. Some Presto, does that say Presto? Isn't that what magicians say? Isn't that what I just said before? What does that say? Wait, 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 wait. Hand, stay still. Desto? What? Oh, Fenabola. Ba Fenabola. Now my Italian is uh, getting, you know, I'm getting like my uh, ire up over here. Let's see. What do we got? It says, I know. It says you're hitting the back button because you're bored <laughs> off your tits. It says something Germany. I don't know. We'll look at it later. We'll look at it later. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. And then we got this. What the hell is this? What in the hell is this? And it's stuck to something. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got some needles. We got some embroidery. Some like, I don't know, interesting looking embroidery. All right. And we got uh, another one of these embroidery needles. We got, what the heck is this? This is, oh, I'm getting stuck to the, yeah, my gloves. Why do I wear these stupid gloves? I'm a moron. All right. Yeah, this is, okay, this is pyrolin, or otherwise, a.k.a. celluloid. Yeah, this is not real tortoiseshell. All right, so my guess is now, this was made from the early 1900s to the 1920s. Pyrolin was actually about 1919, I believe. Between 1905 and 1919. So, yeah, DuPont made it. So now we're dating this. I'm going to go with this is probably between 1915 to about the 1920s. Okay, so now, now we got an idea of how old the sucker is. Um, what is that? It looks like an awl, I guess. See, I'm trying to learn uh, about needle uh, crafting. Then we have a safety pin, a rusted one. Yeah, that's really rusted. And we got a rooster. We got a cock-a-doodle-doo over here. All right, let's check out the cock-a-doodle-doo. That's actually cute. Okay, so we got this rooster uh, jammy. Yeah, this would fit in the box and look uh, interesting. So let's put that there. We'll add, yeah, I know I'm ruining this whole kit. Poor Virginia Robinson. Oh, we got another magic trick. Uh, what the hell? Come on, man. Get off my glove. Oh, oh, okay. All right, let's put this. Is this real silver? Imagine. That would be a beautiful thing. All right, so we'll put it in our pile of uh, ones we're going to use. And I think the tortoise shell will look really cool. Wait, look, my glove is stuck to this thing again. Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. All right, this tortoiseshell stuff will look like, you know, make it, give it that, why can't I talk today? I'm having like a brain aneurysm. It'll give it like that old look. You know what I mean? That old, old-fashioned look. The more magic. Oh, wait, <laughs> look at this. Alakazam, Alakazoo, get off of my glove, you stupid. Okay, I'm not gonna rhyme. We got some more embroidery. That is interesting. And it says something. It's on like a piece of uh, cardboard. What's it say? It says something needle, vest something, thread, hosiery, lingerie, one or something strand, either, will not, and special. Okay? Cool. Yeah, I won't add that. We'll add this to give it like an old, an old look, right? Yeah. There we go. All right, let's add the things to our pile. All right, so we'll put the needle thing, the needle case. We got the other needle case. We got the awl. We got the awl. We got the awl. We'll put the fancy dancy needle. Now what I'm going to do is in the lid, 
I'm going to have things. And in the bottom part of the box, I'm going to have things. I'll do a whole video where I see if I can actually make this happen. We got another thimble. We could put that on the top, right? Uh, fancy dancy scissors. We're not going to use Virginia scissors. All right. And then what else can we use that's in here? We'll take two of these embroidery needles and we'll add it. These little uh, needles are cute. Come on, focus, focus, and hands. It's like almost like an enamel um, on them. Very, very pretty. All right, so let's put this with this needle. And you're probably hitting the back button by now. So we'll have stuff on the lid of the box, like I showed you in the picture of the other one, and then on the bottom. And then if I need like an extra little doodad or two, um, we'll throw in the extra scissor on the other side. All right, so now I have a basic idea of things that I can actually add to this box. We have Virginia O. Robinson's uh, sewing kit, which I feel really guilty about sort of butchering here. I mean, I don't know. I feel sort of mean. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of like uh, taboo to do something like this, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because it's antique. It was all together. Um, it pretty much wasn't missing any pieces. But what's great is now... I get an idea of how to um, construct something to place inside the box and how to put like different straps in there to hold these goods in there. But there you go. This was the most boring unboxing I probably ever did in the history of unboxings and pretty much 90% of them are boring unboxings. So you learn something. You got to see some interesting uh, probably early 20th century uh, sewing kit stuff. You get to see an old sewing box. You got to see uh, Virginia O. Robinson's uh, sewing kit. You got to see some replica pieces that you can find on Amazon for about 4 or $5. Um, and a whole kit for $18.99 that you can get multiple pieces. And uh, when I do something to this box and I, you know, get the fabric and I create an interior for it, I'll show you everything all put together. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon. And I'm sorry I bored the tits off of you.